Hey guys, welcome back, Orbomb here, bringing you our very first match for the MPL. This is our week one match versus the Blackthorn Ther the Blackthorn Frogadiers. Very tough. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry. Mm. I'm very tired. Just woke up from a nap. Hopefully this match goes by well. Uh, it's getting late in the day for me, so I'm getting really dizzy. I wish I could battle in the morning, man. Is Ramadan going on? Like, I can't, I can't do much. <laughs> I'm tired during the end of the day. But it's okay. Because we're going to do well this game. We're going to demolish the t competition. That's the plan. Um, if you guys have not seen the team recap, first of all, go see that. Because it's a very, very important thing to watch. It goes over why I'm bringing what I'm bringing. But um, just a quick a recap of my team. I'm bringing Bernie, the uh, Slow King Forge, the Heatran, Gojira, the Tyranitar, Young Goose, the Chestnut, uh, Chari, the Togekiss, and no jokes here, the Metacham. Uh, hopefully this is a good match. Hopefully there's no hacks on either side or just a straight even game uh so have fun have fun my man and yeah we'll be back when the match starts okay nerves are setting in let's go ahead and do this guys wish me luck in the comments Whew. battle start eh, yeah whatever everything good everybody got items are really good i think i just checked over the team Whew, man i'm getting more and more nervous by the second these league battles, man, they always get me. They always get me scared. They always get me scared. Especially with these people, because like, at least in the CPL, I'm more comfortable because I know my friends. I played my friends. I kind of, I kind of understand how they play. In the MPL, I don't know these people. I've never met most of these people before, so I have no idea how they play. And I'm assuming most of them are really good. So, whew. I'm afraid of that Klefki. If I don't see that Klefki, I'm gonna be the happiest guy ever. But if I, if I do, then I just have to learn how to play around it. Um. Let's see. So he's bringing Klefki. He's bringing the Tangrowth and the Miss Magius. I did not expect either of those things. Um, I thought that, was, that would be like Dragonite or something like that. The Conkelder is scary. Um, let me go ahead and take a picture before I forget this time. Alright. So we kind of have an idea. Let me. Uh, I'm going to be all over the place in this video, guys. I'm going to be opening up notepads and stuff. As soon as my keyboard works, this will be on my other computer. So I'm like, why my voice probably sounds distant right now? I'm in my, I'm on my other computer, or it's technically a tablet, but whatever. Anyways, I'm going to lead with Heatran. That's my go-to lead against this guy. If he starts Charizard, that's a threat and a half. But I have Gogeta, which can Scarf Stone Edge it, because it's most likely not going to set up turn one. Uh, if he does, that's crazy. <sighs> Let me go ahead and open up this document so I don't get lost. Alright, so we know what he's bringing. Let's uh, confirm this. He might lead Starmie. If he, oh, I probably shouldn't confirm. Whatever, it's fine. We'll make, the, we'll make the safe, obvious plays to start the game. That way I don't make the same mistake I make in most leagues. Uh, feel really confident, even though I already did by uh, clicking confirm <laughs> before I was actually ready. Uh, is he going to let the top clock run down? It looked like he was set. Yeah, he's, he's, he's set. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm leading with Forge the Heatran, just to Lava Plume, the possible Klefki, Tintangla. Ooh, he does lead with Charizard. Interesting choice. All right. So right off the bat, I want to go straight into Bernie. Is this Charizard X? It's not Charizard Y, so there's no fear of him solar beaming me. But I am going to go straight into my uh, my Slowking here, because I want to Thunder Wave this thing. Um, he doesn't have very many Pokemon to eat up a Thunder Wave. Let's see what happens. So he just Mega Evolves right away. Alright then. As he goes for Earthquake right off the bat, as expected. So Charizard has Earthquake. I gotta write that down. Charizard has EQ. Now... I don't want to reveal I have T-Wave yet. I have a really solid feeling that Tangrowth is just going to come in. 
Even though T-Wave is my safest play, because anything besides the Starmie is going to stay paralyzed. So I actually am going to go to T-Wave. I have no reason not to. If he goes into Tangrowth, I can do a lot of damage with my... Uh, with my, uh, oh, he does go straight into this thing. Interesting. So I'm going to paralyze this right off the bat. And I am going to Fire Blast it. I don't care if I'm revealing Fire Blast. That's fine with me. So this thing got paralyzed. I am going to run, I'm, I am going to go hopefully land this Fire Blast. And I'm going to see what he's going to do. Hmm. Excuse any background noise in the house. It is like, it's like seven. I'm not sure. It's pretty, it's pretty late in the day. As he sets up his spikes, perfect. Perfect. I'm okay with this. Please land. Please land. Yes! Let's see. I th this has a chance to Oko. Let's see what happens. Oh, nope. He's running Spidef. Okay, cool. Good to know. Alright. So he knows I'm running Fire Blast. He's probably going to switch back into his... He's probably going to switch into his Charizard. I'm going to go straight for a Scald here. Scald should kill him at this range. Uh, if he wants to get up a second layer of Spikes, that's fine. As he's going for Protect, that's wild. Okay, so he's run Protect. So, um... Klefki has Protect. Um, I'm recording. Sorry guys, interruptions. Klef Klefki has Protect. Uh, it took about Spideff set. Um, let's play this easy. Alright, so we know. Let's go up and pull up the Slow King set. Slow King. He's definitely max Spideff. Skull does have a really good chance of killing at this range. He's probably going to switch out. Uh, his switch into Skull to Starmie. His switch into this Pokemon to Starmie. I'm going for double T-Wave. Yes, we got him. Hopefully he's analytic. I mean, that would be kind of bad if he was analytic, but not the worst thing in the world. As you go straight Conkeldur, this is amazing. Let's see how much a Psychic will do. I want to keep this Bernie alive, so I'm probably going to do some chip damage too. Let me, uh, let me look up this Conkeldur. OU Assault Vest. Psychic. Let me change that to level 50. Alright. Psychic can do, ooh, it's only going to do a little bit over half. He is Guts boosted now, too. So he's going to get knocked off. Like I said before, Young Goose is my knockoff switch in. I'm going to get my Regenerator back, switch out. Uh, I did get two Pokemon paralyzed. Having Conkeldur paralyzed is not the best thing in the world because of, uh, of its Guts boost, but the Guts boost shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, he's going, there's a knockoff. See how much damage it does. Um, not a lot at all. Alright, so, unless he goes for Ice Punch here, I kind of want to scout for it. But not yet, not this turn. I'm going to set up Spike's turn one. As he does switch out right off the bat, let's see what he goes into. Tentacles. Perfect, I'm toxicing this thing. Right, out, right now, I'm toxicing it. It's my only way to beat it 1v1. Sludge Bomb will not touch me. So let's write that down too. And I'm going to go for Toxic here. Let's see. Um, Conk has, well, Klefki has about 50% left, 50% left, uh, Conk paralyzed, let me actually check the, the calc too, paralyzed, um, let's go into, uh, let's see, what was my Pokemon, Chesnut, uh, it's Young Goose of Chesnut, by the way, peep those nicknames, guys, um, versus, uh, Conk Helder. once again, OU Assault Vest, I don't know if he's Assault Vest yet, but I'm just going to assume he is. That's worst case scenario for me. Knockoff did 13 to 16%. I would say that's about right. Tell me he's adamant. Uh, he's probably... Uh, he is probably adamant guts because... Well, what if he's paralyzed? Let me check if he's paralyzed. I didn't check if he's paralyzed. Because that's without the paralysis. How do I check if he's paralyzed? Oh, yeah, here it is. Paralyzed. Yeah, I don't. I that's uh, that, does that twenty percent? I can't tell. If that's twenty percent. Hold up. Um, that did forty plus thirty. Oh, forty plus fifty-five. Fifty-five. Fifty-five times uh, four. Fifty-five times five. Actually, is that enough? 
as he goes right back into Bane. Let me see. He might be choice banded. 55 times 5 equals 275. He's probably Guts or he's choice banded. We're going to find out right now. I'm going for Spiky Shield because I doubt he has bulk up. There's a good double switch on his part. Let's see what he has. I got to get this thing low enough to die to a Psychic. As he does have Ice Punch. So he reveals the Ice Punch. I really feel like he's choice banded. I don't want him knocking off anything else. And Ice Punch is going to do a lot to my Mega Metacham. How much will it do to me? Ice Punch will do 63 to 78%. That's a chance to kill. But we're chipping him down. Wood Hammer will do about 50%. That puts him in range of my Slow King. And nobody wants to co go into a Psychic. So this is a tough play right here. I could switch to Heatran, but I need Heatran. I, like I said in the, in, the, in the preview thing, I don't think I need this Pokemon too much. I am going to... Oh, should I Wood Hammer? I'm going to Wood... Uh, wood Hammer won't accomplish me much, but I'm going to do it anyways. Let's get some damage off. We, get, we do have to be because he's paralyzed. Let's see how much this does. Wood Hammer does a very clean amount. That was a crit. Okay, cool. As he's not choiced. Thank God we did not switch. Thank God. Alright, so because he, I outspeed... I could go for a safe wood hammer. Um, and I have to go for a wood hammer just because I don't want to deal with like Tangrowth coming in and taking zero damage. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Conk paralyzed. About, yeah. Conk paralyzed. Killed by Chez. I don't know how like the, the differential thing works in this thing. But Ches Chesnot is gone. All right, so we don't have to worry about Chesnot. I have to bold this. Control B. All right. All right. So one Pokemon down. Kinkelder was a huge threat, especially if he managed to get up screens. He is Spikes T Wave though. We'll see if he Spikes T Wave's dual screens. His switch in right now. I'm not too sure as to what it is. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to predict him to D dance us. I'm going to go hard into if he goes in if he goes into Charizard. He goes into this Magius. Why Miss Magius? I mean, I'm sure he knows Bulletproof is a thing. So he's definitely not going for uh, for Shadow Ball. He's probably going for Will-O-Wisp. Um, he could also be going for something like Psychic. Let me look at Ches Let me look at Miss Magius' thing. Let me find out real, real quick. Um, let me see what he gets. Because I feel like Heatran's a safe switch, but it all depends. Does Miss Magius get like... Uh, I don't know much about Miss Magius. It's a low tier Pokemon. I, I know I haven't played low tiers in a long ass time. Focus Blast. He doesn't get Focus Blast. Common moves. Dark Pulse. Dazzling Gleam. It looks like my Heatran hard walls it. He could. He also has Memento. Nasty Plot. Um, T Wave is another. I don't want my. I don't want my Heatran being paralyzed. But I feel like Heatran is my all around good switch here. It's tough. It's tough to say. He might nasty plot too, which if he does nasty plot, I he I don't know does he have, if, unless he has HP ground or HP fighting. I don't want to give him a free turn, and I don't think Chesnut does anything this game. Chesnut kills who? I have only thirty seconds to decide, but I have to play this nice and safe. Um, as you find out right now, Chesnut, Chesnut can toxic the. Uh, oh no. Um, hmm. Chesnot can toxic. Th oh god, I have to. I have to go for a thing. Uh, let me go ahead. I'm just gonna go for wood hammer. I don't really have much of a play here. Is he is gonna go for tactic flame. Hold up, let me. Wait. Whew, sorry guys, I had some personal things come up real quick. Uh, okay, so he's, he has he has his Magius up. I'm probably just going to pursue Trap it. Actually, I can go for Crunch because this thing's not a threat. I'll just go for Crunch here.
All right, hold up, guys. Quick, quick pause. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and click the crunch button here. <laughs> Alright guys, quick pause. Sorry about, Sorry about that guys, there's lots of interruptions and things like that. Okay, so we do, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going ghost and everything, guys. I'm sorry, there's like, there's things going on right now. We do kill the Miss Magia, so T-Tar kills Miss Magia. Let me write that down. Um, control B, T-Tar kills Miss Mag. All right, so that's two Pokemon down. We just have to keep, we have to, we have to be careful of the, um, we have to be careful of the D-Dancing Charizard. So he knows I'm a scarfed into t uh, into Crunch right now, but he doesn't really have much to do with it because all of his Pokemon that can eat up a Crunch are de are dead at this point. So Tangrowth comes in here. Um, where's my mouse? There it is. Um, okay. So of course you want to switch out. Tangrowth is a, is an issue. I'm not too sure what I can do. What what Tangrowth is going to do to me? I'm gonna go into uh, Chari, the Toka Kiss. And just start air slashing things, I suppose. I don't really have much of a, much else of a play. So he does just he just straight leech seeds me. Ah, oh, guys. Okay, so he's leech seeding me. Hmm. I'm I'm messaging someone right now, guys. Hold up. Use the use the bathroom. Okay, so his switch in to uh, to air slash doesn't exist. Actually, it doesn't exist at all. I'm just gonna go for air slash. I could defog, but my thing is gone. I really don't want to defog. Hazards are going to be nice to Klefki because I think Klefki dies upon switching. Yeah, I'm just going to air slash here. He has not. A, he doesn't have a single switch in for air slash. Does he even get a flinch? 60% chance, and it just is it going to straight? Oh, it does it kill? And he does flinch. That's unfortunate. But uh, this thing is going to die to Sandstorm. So I don't know who killed who, but I'm going to say um, uh, Toki Kiss. Kills, um, kills Tangrowth. All right, let me go ahead and put these bold. All right, all right, okay, things are looking good right now. Things are looking pretty good right now. Huh. DJ Khalid. All right, so this thing's paralyzed. It's probably going to T-wave me. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I think I'm going to go into Forge and Rock Tomb and hopefully not get paralyzed. I think that's my play right now. He does have Protect. I could also set up has or stealth rocks. Let's go. Let's go ahead and do that. Because I'm immune to the sandstorm too, thanks to a heatran. So uh, things are looking good right now. Things are looking okay. Things are looking okay. Just got to keep it up. Keep up the momentum. We can't let them grab any momentum. That's why the paralysis is such an issue for me. Because full paras are bad. Due to me, due to me losing momentum. It's all about momentum in this game because he has so many strong and powerful and set up imans. Uh, like if he, if I, if I give him any room to breathe, we're in a bad position. 
So what I want to do is either set up rocks, uh, go for rock tomb, if anything. I, I might even, it depends, it depends. I'm not going to go for rock tomb right away because I don't want him thinking, I don't want him thinking, oh man, oh, because he's probably going to protect. Not this turn, but he's probably going to thunder wave this turn, protect the following turn to see what I'm going to do. So let's see what happens. Spikes damage. He goes for Toxic. So he's not screens, which is amazing. I'm going for Stealth Rocks this turn. Because he's probably going to protect from... The, so he can get a little bit more leftovers back. And, uh, and to avoid the Lava Plume damage. Uh, but I'm going to get up Rocks. And if he switches out, that's fine. Uh, is he gets fully parried, which is a shame, because now I get the, these free rocks, uh, which sucks for, for sucks for him. I feel bad for him. I really, really do. That per like I was just saying earlier, paralysis is a huge momentum killer and can change the game. I didn't want to paralyze this Pokemon. I wanted to paralyze his Charizard, so it's a shame that that ended up happening. But I am going to Lava Plume here. He did try to protect. He's probably going to do it again because he wants that leftovers back. He wants that HP. And he gets fully paired twice. Damn it, man. That sucks. It sucks because, like, I don't want to be that guy who's, like, paired his way to victory. My plan was to Lava Plume on his Protect and then Rock Tomb on his switch out to Charizard X. And then possibly Rock Tomb again if it was a 2 hit KO. But now I kind of lose that chance to kill Charizard right now, which is unfortunate because I, I don't care about killing Klefki. I, kill about killing, I care about killing Charizard. So, I think no matter what, I have to stay in here and go for the Rock Tomb. Which means I'm pretty much risking my Charizard right now. But let me go ahead and write down a Heatran kills... A Heatran kills... Uh, Klefki. So he only has Charizard and Starmie left. Starmie, if it's last Mon... Actually, I think Titar wins the game at this point. But if it's Starmie last Mon, I can... I'll crunch it. I mean, whatever. Oh, he does go straight into this Pokemon? Interesting choice. I'm not gonna. I'm not hard switching into my. Oh, dude! This is Solar Beam time. It's Solar Beam time. Please work. Please don't kill me. He went for Rapspin. That's fine. That's fine. Get bodied by the Solar Beam. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so. Yes. I think this kills too. I'm not too sure. It depends on the set. So all the hazards are gone, uh, unfortunately, but we do get the Solar Beam off, which is great. And yes, he tried to kill Starmie. Oh man, that was exciting for me. I don't know about you guys. Alright, so Heatran got two kills. Uh, Tokigus got one kill and Chesna got a kill. Alright, so now we're rock tombing. He's at full health right now. We're going to continuously rock tomb because I don't want him setting I don't want him getting that much invest any uh oh he's going straight for the earthquake. That's fine. I will sack off the forge if it means killing this Charizard. Alright, so what do I have to kill this Charizard? Um, how much does uh, does Tyranitar's Earthquake do? Or let's just find out. Let's find out. Um, I mean, Tyranitar, Tyranitar's Crunch do. Tyranitar... Where is my... Uh, oh, regular Tyranitar. Uh, it is the... What's my set called? It's Gojira. Versus uh, Charizard X. It's probably just regular old Charizard. Uh because that's Earthquake. Mega Charizard X OU Dragon Dance, level 50. Uh, Crunch does uh, not enough. I could win the speed tie. Winning the speed tie is tough. I have to T-Wave this thing. I can't let it get any Dragon Dancers up. I can Oko it with Mega Metacham. It's my smartest play. It won't keep my Differential high, but I hate the fact that I have to think about Differential in Pokemon. I feel like it defeats the purpose of Pokemon. Um, I would feel way more comfortable saving uh, saving this... Because uh, he goes for Will-O-Wisp, and I, he misses. All right, so he's bulky Zard. Interesting. Uh, Psychic does more damage, so we're just going to Psychic get some Spideff drops, probably. 
He's probably in physical defense. Yes, it's a two hit KO. What's that? What's gonna happen? As he gets fully paired. All right. Well, that was unfortunate. I feel super bad. There was a lot of pairs that game. I don't feel like they could have affected the uh, the outcome of the game. I mean, obviously the Klefki did, but the Klefki affected it in a manner I didn't want it to. Um, <sighs> I feel bad, but Slow King, Slow King kills the... I feel really bad. I feel super bad. Slow King kills uh, Charizard. Alright, well that's the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your, uh, your Houston Megahorns have uh, won their first game 4-0. Pretty smoothly. It was a pretty good, a pretty, I don't want to say it was a good game. It wasn't a good game. I feel bad. I feel awful. I got all those pairs. Once again, I don't think they matter, but what do I know? I could be completely wrong. He could have done something crazy that could have completely blown me away, which is why I never say pairs don't matter because pairs always matter. I'm sorry. Uh, I hate winning this way, but a win is a win, and that's Pokemon, and I hate it. That's what I say to myself, and that's what I say to others. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Watch your Houston Megahorns take it all the way to the top, because that's what I'm going to attempt to do. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.